I'm not telling you a story, but the first thing you have to understand is time doesn't work the way you think it does. You can go me Oracle because I'm the one who's talking to you. Welcome to the cult. All right. Can oh, you can still hear a little bit of Little Dems there. No apologies from Little Dems. I'm not shocked. Typical, quite petty, little piece of nothing with it. All right. Chapter 8. Um, uh, the Kama Sutra. About uh, women acting the part of man and, and the work of man. When a woman sees that her lover is fatigued by constant Congress, having a, without having his desire satisfied, she should, with his permission, lay him down upon his back and give his system by acting his part. She may also do this to satisfy the curiosity of her lover, her own desire, or novelty. There are two ways of doing this. The first one, during the Congress, she turns around and gets on top of her lover in such a manner to continue with the Congress without obstructing the pleasure of it, and the other is when she acts. Uh, the man's part from the beginning at such time that with flowers in her hair hanging loose, her smile is broken with heart, by hard breathing. She should press upon her lover's bosom with her own breast, lowering her head frequently. Uh, should do in return the same action which he used to do before, returning his blows and chafing him. Should say, "I was laid down by you and fatigued by with hard congress. I shall now therefore lay down, uh, lay you down in return." She should then. Uh, <laughs> she should then again manifest her own bashfulness, her fatigue, and her desire of stopping congress in this way. She, she should do the work of a man, which we shall, we shall present relate. Whatever is done by a man for giving pleasure to a woman is called the work of a man as follows, while the woman is lying in bed. As it were abstracted by the, his conversation, he should loosen the knot of her undergarments, and when she is, begins to speak with him, he should overwhelm her with kisses. When, uh, then, when his lingam is erect, he should touch her with his hands in various places and gently manipulate various parts of her body. If the woman is bashful, and it is the first time they have come together, this man should place his hands between her thighs, which she would probably keep close together. And if she is a very young girl, he, he should get his hands upon her breasts, which she should... She would probably cover with her own hands under her armpits and on her neck. If, however, she is a seasoned woman, he should do whatever is agreeable to either to him or to her, and whatever is fitting for the occasion. After this, he should take hold of her hair and hold her chin in his fingers for the purpose of kissing her. On this, if she is a young girl, she will become bashful and close her eyes. And how he should gather from this the uh, from the action of the woman what things would be pleasing to her during Congress. Here, uh, Zuvana Naba says that while a man is doing uh doing to the woman what he likes best during Congress, he should always make a point of pressing those parts of, of her body on which she turns her eyes. The, uh, the signs of the enjoyment and satisfaction of the woman are as follows. Her body relaxes, she closes her eyes, she puts aside all bashfulness and shows increasing willingness to unite the two organs as closely together as possible. On the other hand, the signs of her want of enjoyment and of failing to be satisfied are as follows. She shakes her hands, does not let the, uh, the man get up, feels dejected, bites the man, kicks him, and continues to go on moving after the man has finished. In such cases, the man should rub, uh, rub the yoni of the woman with his hand and fingers as the elephant rubs anything with his trunk before engaging in Congress until it is softened, and, and that which is done, he should proceed uh, to put his lingam into her. The acts to be done by the man are moving forward, friction or turning, piercing, rubbing, pressing, giving a blow, the blow of a bore, the blow of a bowl, the sporting of a sparrow. Uh, moving forward, when the organs are brought together properly and direct, it's called moving the organ forward. When the lingam is held uh, with the hand and, and turned all around the yoni, it's called churning. When the yoni is lowered in the upper part of the, is struck with the lingam, it's called piercing. When the same thing is done with the lower part of the yoni, it's called rubbing. When the yoni is pressed by the lingam for a long time, it's called pressing. When the lingam is moved to the same distance from the yoni and then forcibly struck, it's called giving a blow. When, uh, um, when only one part of the yoni is rubbed with the lingam, it's called the blow of the bore. When both sides of the yoni are rubbed in this way, it's called the blow of the bowl. When the lingam is in the yoni and moved up and down frequently without being taken out, it's called sporting of the sparrow. This takes place at the end of Congress. When, when, uh, when a woman acts the part of the man, she has the following things to do in addition to the nine above. The pair of tongs that top the swing. One, when the woman uh, holds the lingam in her yoni, draws it in, presses it, and keeps it in uh, thus for a long time, it is called the pair of tongs. While the, two, while engaging Congress, she turns around like a wheel. It is called the top. This is learnt by practice only. Three, on such occasion, when, uh, when on such occasion the man lifts up the middle part of his body and the woman turns around and her middle part is called the swing. When the woman is tired, she should place her forehead on that of her lover and just to take rest without, and thus take, should, and should thus take rest without disturbing the union of the organs. And when the woman has rested herself, the man should turn around and begin the Congress again. There are also some verses on the subject as follows. When a woman is observed and keeps her feeling concealed, yet she, Yet when she gets on top of a man, then she shows all of her love and desire. A man should gather from the actions of the woman of what disposition she is and what way she likes to be enjoyed. A woman during her monthly courses, a woman who has been lately confined, and a fat woman should not make, uh, be made to act the part of a man. And that is chapter 8. This is Oracle. I'm gonna sing myself out. Dream safely, love safely. Thank you for watching and peace out.